The streets are bare. People are social distancing. This is May 2020, week six of the lockdown due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But luckily, we can see some tricks from a great selection of books, the Tarbo Course in Magic. That is coming up. My favourite curry house is closed. The parks are bare. are off school. Lucky them. Yo, Dan Tricks here, doing tricks for you from these fantastic selection of books to make your world just that a little bit more, well, entertaining. So I've come to the end of my journey through this course of magic books, the Tarbo Course in Magic, which is a fantastic selection of books. But today, I'm gonna to go through some of the tricks that I've learned and I wanna share them with you today. I've just picked out some of the ones that I think are personally my favorite and I hope you enjoy them. Let's get into it and I'll see you after. Okay, so for this trick, I'm on my knees. Now. We will be using a handkerchief and four coins. Now, birds of a feather like to flock together, and so do coins of a certain kind. So with that being said, each coin goes into the corner of the handkerchief, being covered up as we go. Now, each coin going into the corner of the handkerchief. Now, this coin is gonna travel, it's gonna go on a little journey. This one over here, we'll take the coin, cover it over, We'll take the coin invisibly, oh, just like that. And the coin travels to join the other one. Now this other coin down here likes to go the back room, down into the cellar, underneath, and travels across to join the other two coins. Now the last one, now this one is a bit of a Houdini. It's a bit of an escape artist. It gets wrapped up in a straight jacket, but yet it still escapes to join the other three coins. Now if we take the four coins from here, place the coins underneath the handkerchief, like so. And just cover the centre of the handkerchief with the corners, just like this. I snap my fingers, wiggle my hands. And now, inside the handkerchief is in fact a fire. And that is Birds of a Feather. Okay, right for this trick, lots of matches, a piece of ribbon, and a handkerchief. Everything can be borrowed if you want to borrow a handkerchief. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the box of matches and take them out of the box, like so. So we're left with the case. Now all I'm going to do is take the piece of ribbon, pass it through the case, like so. So you can see the case and the ribbon. 
passes straight through it. We'll place the box of matches back into the box, like so. Everything is as it is as, is, as it should be. You can see it there, the box of matches. And the spectator can hold either end of the ribbon. And all I've got to do is place this handkerchief over the ribbon. And I say to the spectators, the aim of the game is, is for me to actually make this matchbox pass straight through and melt through the ribbon. And that, my friends, is a miracle. Everything can be examined, the matchbox, the ribbon, even <laughs> the handkerchief. box, completely empty, which I used to use for my business cards, but I'm now using for this effect. We then take the glass of milk, place the milk inside the box. You can see that the uh, milk is definitely going inside there, just in case you think I'm cheating. I then take the silk, placing the silk inside the glass, just like so. And then I take an old tatty piece of newspaper, completely normal. And what I do, in fact, we'll place the silk inside the box and we'll take out the milk instead from here and I'll wrap the milk in the newspaper. Rub it with the newspaper and as you can see, the milk disappears and turns into the silk. As you can see, the silk there is real and in fact, inside the box is in fact the glass of milk. The block box is completely empty and the milk, just in case you think I'm cheating, is in fact real. Just in case that went past your eyes. Past your eyes. <laughs> no?
So for this trick, we'll be using the objects here. We have an empty glass, a ball, and a jar of Nescafe coffee. Original. Now, any objects around a house can be used. We also use this piece of silk, but regarding the ball, now in the book it says about taking the ball in your hand like so. With your right hand, you wave, clap your hands, and the ball becomes millions of particles and floats into the air. Now, we can also take this piece of silk and the coffee jar. We take the coffee jar from here and it disappears. Now, I don't know about you, but with all this magic going on, I'm feeling a little bit uh, thirsty. So let's uh, have a drink. Oh, fruity. <laughs> We haven't finished there. There's still a few more tricks to see, but I hope you're enjoying the effects from these books. As you can see, they're fantastic. A lot of them I never performed. I've only mastered just to put on the camera to show you guys. So I hope you're enjoying them. So let's get back into it. Yabba dabba doo. Okay, so this is a nice one. Any card can be selected. In this case, the Queen of Spades. Spectator can write their name on it, it doesn't matter. You take any book, in this case we're using the Tarbell Course in Magic, and we're gonna place the card. The Spectator can place the card anywhere in the book. It goes in, in there. You can shut the book up, you can show them that there is the card, and it goes in the book. Watch it there, you shut the book. You can say to them, I am now gonna magically make that card. Watch, here we go. And the card rises from the centre of the book. Show it to the camera, show it to everyone else, I'll move it. You'll see it? Yeah, the ten of hearts. Yeah. Don't say anything. Okay, put it back in the pack for me. Next to the ace of diamonds is fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do. Do you want to shuffle them or are you happy with the way I'm doing it? Some people think I'm left handed, so here we go wrong. Oh, I'll go wrong then. Okay, so. Your card is in the pack now. Your card somewhere there. I'm going to see if I can find your card. Snap my fingers. Queen of Clubs. No? Okay, sorry. Was it the. Uh, let's give it a snap again. Like right that. And it. Ace of Hearts. Right, okay, okay. That's what, Ace of Hearts. Just tell me to stop. There. No, okay, okay, okay. Uh, was it the two of hearts? No, okay, okay. Point to a card, any card. The middle one. Okay, what was your card? Seven of spades, check it out, have a look. Seven of spades. Okay, so this is a nice effect. All you need is two sharp glasses and a coin. All the objects can be borrowed. Take the coin, the coin goes in here, into the glass. Take the coin out, watch carefully. Take the coin, one, two, and three. It penetrates straight through the glass. What more do you want? Just cut a small pile of cards for us. Cut a bit more, cut about half the pack, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Excellent. Now you've got some, you've got some cards there. I've got some here. I'm going to take one of the cards out. Okay? I'm going to remember it. Could you put that card into your pile? Yeah, that's fine. Now, would you do the phone? Could you take a card out of your pile? Remember it. Yeah, remember it? Yeah? And I'll place it in this pile. Okay. Now we don't have to shuffle them, it doesn't matter. Now if I put this card on top of this, not bad. Now, my card was the Eight of Spades. What was your card? The King of Clubs. My card was the Eight of Spades. Ian's card was the King of Clubs. If I snap my fingers, wiggle them right, see, have a little dance. Look at the cards, have a little, just stand them face down. Face down, keep going through the pack, that's it. 
we should see your car, the Kia Clubs, and the eight of spades with mine. And the eight of spades. <laughs> well done, Ian. You've done well. You take a glass and some water. Put some water in a glass. And then what you do is you just give it a little shake and you can actually see the glass. The water inside is in fact freezing. And to prove this, I'll turn the water upside down and show you in fact it is turned to ice. And that is how you freeze water. Okay, for this little gem, you require two hands and a thimble. And if I take the thimble from here in the hand, a little wave, it disappears. You can see the thimble has gone. It's not until you cover the finger, it comes back. I place the thimble in the hand, nothing here, a little rub, a little wave, it disappears. It's not until we produce it from behind the elbow. Watch carefully as I push it through oh, the head. Ah, oh, it comes back again, out the air. All I gotta do is give it a little shake, it disappears, a little shake, it comes back. Watch again as I take the thimble from here, push it in the hand, it becomes green. Watch it go red to green, red to green. All I gotta do is take the thimble, give it a little shake, and it comes back. All I gotta do is take the thimble from here, put it in the pocket, shake, it comes back. Watch again, the shake, it comes back. Which is a miracle, because if I give it a little it switches fingers just like that. From here to there, from here. All I've got to do is take that thimble in the hand, place it in the pocket, cover it up, it comes back. Watch the thimble go in the hand, disappear. And that is thimble magic. Yeah, so I hope you like this video, guys. As you can see, some of the effects there Fantastic. I've just picked out a few there randomly. There's so much footage to look through. I hope there's some tricks there you can see that are really, really effective. You can, you can become an amazing magician just with these books, and I believe that. And I really, really enjoyed learning the effects from these books. The journey might be over, but the tricks have not finished, and I'm sure I'll return to them and show you some more. But I've got a lot of other effects coming up from other books which I'm really looking forward to and showing you guys. Keep posted for them. Well, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because otherwise you're going to be missing out. Press the notification bell so you don't miss any of my video, 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 videos. Because you don't want to miss any of my videos. I, mean, I really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it guys. Peace and love. Keep the magic real. Keep safe and I'll be seeing you. in the next one.